evening, Seattle. This is Channel 26 News at 6.09. I'm Buck Taylor. And I'm John Farrell. Breaking news is earlier this morning, there was a meth lab bust in a small town in Colorado called Elizabeth. The death toll is estimated in the millions. Uh, we're bringing you footage now. These images may be disturbing. Sometimes these things go down easy. Most of the time they don't. Let's lock and look! Lieutenant, I'm scared. I'm just a cameraman. Don't be scared. I'll make sure you're safe. Hey, bring it down! Hey, boy, PD! Please, yeah! I'm going down Everybody in this, man! Cool. Everybody be cool! I'm a blade man! Get out of the ground! I got a family to talk to you! I want to go through this! Get down the ground! He's making a run! He's making a run! Oh, oh God! We're in pursuit hey, of the subject! Hey, he's down on the ground! He's making his down way out! Down on the ground! Doug! Oh! oh. He's happy! <laughs> Man, that film was intense. Say, John, wasn't that fellow in that scene? Didn't he look a lot like you? You know, he did. In fact, that was my brother, Eduardo. Eduardo? We used to have good times together, best of friends. Then, the meth got hold of him. Recently, as you, the viewer, know, there have been several mythological type events occurring in the hood. One such event being a tornado. We at Channel 26 have an interrogation with a tornado survivor. His name is Carlton Goldbergstein, and this is his tale. So, Carlton, tell us your story. Thanks for having me, John. No problem. So this was last Thursday. As I recall, I was coming home from a long day of working in the factory. I was made a stop off at my local neighborhood market, and I, well, I, I saw the twister. It came and it, it picked up a car. I mean, it was my friend Sam from down the street. It picked him up. And he died. Almost. Anyway, so that wasn't where it ends, John. It wasn't where it ends, John. It's okay, keep going. I was driving home, as I do, in my car. And the, the tornado, it picked me up. What another sad story. Oh. <laughs> yes, indeed. And our top story tonight, TSA is going green. What's going green? Well, I tell you when I can show you. Going green is the simple deeds taken every day to save the environment. Out of pure love for our Mother Earth. Simple deeds such as riding your bike to work. The easiest way to save our environment is to not kill it with that giant death machine. Other deeds, such as disposing of old dead trees to make room for new. See as these men easily dispose of this dead tree to help our environment. Another easy way, shredding your papers and recycling. These documents don't need to be laying around. And the most proud of all of our activities Group rehabilitation. Officer, where are you taking these drawers? No! Brady! Uh. Please! No, no. no man, I'm not going down again! Not my time! Cool. I got a family four! No man! I'll take no, you down! No, I'm gonna kill you! Uh. Uh. Man, we really showed that tree who was boss, didn't we? Oh, oh yeah. See the smoke for miles. Well, that's it for our broadcast. Good evening, Seattle. You have a good one. You quit drinking. <laughs> you don't know this intimate. Gotta get life in order, man. Look at your help. You're dead. I just want to help. Come back, John.